join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. We're a stone's throw from the famous Giant's Causeway on County Antrim's north coast and today we're visiting the Bushmills Distillery in the town of the same name. This place is the oldest licensed whisky distillery in the world, with records dating back to 1608. I say the oldest licensed distillery because obviously whisky, like other spirits, has been made for centuries probably. The village gets its name from the many mills which were once prominent along the river Bush, which feeds the distillery. The whisky, drawn as it does the water that it needs in its process from the bush, unsurprisingly is also called Bush Mills. Local people say, without the village there'd be no whisky, and without the whisky there'd be no village. So each is dependent on the other. We're just going to have a bit of a look around the impressive collection of buildings accumulated over the years of distilling, and then of course go for a tasting. There's a very good tour of the process of the drink's production that I recommend if you come here to get a deeper understanding. Though it's not possible to film inside, apparently electronic devices are dangerous when that close to alcohol vapour. A tax on barley imposed by the British Crown in the 1850s caused most distillers to switch to cheaper grains. However, Bushmills persisted in using their malted barley, continuing to produce a whisky known as pure malt. Since the late 1800s, Bushmills has not only been creating its product for the home market, but has been exporting large amounts to the US in particular. And high accolades for the drink date back as far as 1889 when it won the gold medal, the only gold medal for whisky at the Paris Exposition. There's a wide range of whiskies available at Bushmills. Bushmills Original, Black Bush, Red Bush, 10 year old single malt, 12 year old reserve, 16 and 21 year old whiskies, and a special one called 1608 a 400th anniversary whisky. The difference between all the above lines, apart from the obvious length of the aging process, is largely due to the type of casks that the drink is aged in. The different casks include American oak, Spanish sherry and bourbon. Now that we're inside, we can see the range of merchandise that's available here for all you enthusiasts. And of course you can buy the various ranges of whiskies here as well. Some in nice presentation cases. I bought a few myself as gifts. And here we are in the tasting area. I'm sorry that you can't benefit from this. You'll just have to come here and visit. So the bar area here is also full of all the paraphernalia of whiskey distilling. And you can see from this diagram that the whiskey is triple distilled. That's one of the whiskey's attributes. This obviously has an effect on the final character of the drink. This is what we're here for. Obviously you couldn't enjoy that with me, but trust me that it's a great experience to drink the whiskey at its point of origin. I guess there's a sense that this place is part of our history. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been interesting or informative. If so, please give the film a like and hit the subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate that. See you in the next Naked Ireland video.